there, sign of Libra. <clears throat> My name is Kim, and I'm going to get your reading done for the next 48 hours. This is the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. So we're going to be using that for a general tarot spread for you, Libra. Get some sage up in here, clearing the energy. All right. <clears throat> so, Libra. Hoping you have a good holiday, too, this weekend. Um, let's see here. Calling in Libra's spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power. Let's get messages that's for their greater good. Let get that feather upside down. There we go. <laughs> so, Libra, yes, this is for your greater good. Thank you for subscribing. If you would like a private reading, I do those for donation. Check out the description box below. Let's get started. Libra, what's the current issue for you? Issue for you. Doing something with integrity or feeling like you're not doing something with integrity. <laughs> integrity, you know, um, honesty, bravery, kind-hearted, motivated by love, integrity. Okay, what is the challenge to acting with integrity? Challenge is joy. choice. Spirit says it's a choice. You can either act with integrity or you don't have to. It's all a choice. Up to you. The pa uh, heart of the matter, sorry, the heart of the matter, this integrity card. For Libra, please. What is the heart of the matter? Thought. Whatever you think. It's whatever you're thinking of. It's your ideas. So it's your choice. Of, and it's something to do with your integrity. And maybe even strategy. It might be part of a strategy. We've got three major arcana here to start off really a lot of energy lots of energy all right past position for libra the nine of earth and abundance really wow libra okay so this is something that maybe you just stepped through or is the um, past past? Like, I, I'm not really sure. It's, I think it's different for most people. So, abundance, a beautiful card. Beautiful card. What is abundant to you? Being independent, not having to depend on anybody. That is our past position. So, let's see what's going on, Libra. Let's see. What is the present situation? Okay. Well, present situation. I think maybe we're about to step through an opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. And that's very good. That is a golden opportunity to really grow something, stepping into either financial stability or this could be about abundant in relationships too. I think it's more about finances, tell you the truth, or what you feel uh, could make a person like abundant <clears throat> sorry I'm putting those back because I don't think that many need to go in that spot so what is the near future position so maybe currently you're stepping through an opportunity or one has been presented to you the challenge is you're waiting for, in the near future, okay, is having you already have manifested something. Waiting on returns. I feel like waiting on returns, possibly traveling and making a voyage, or somebody may be coming back from the distance, from a distance from you. How is Libra feeling? How? 
How's Libra feeling? <laughs> Everybody has gotten this card. Ten of Wands. You're feeling on fire. Like all your chakras are all lit up in this card. And you're creating, creating action. So much action that you may feel kind of burned out. But it's okay. You're on fire. You cannot stop you. What is the external energy, Libra? All right, so this could be externally. We could have the six of fire, six of wands. Cup is full of emotional um, love, gratitude. This person is being raised up by others. Maybe you're waiting for your day in the sun type energy. Waiting for your day in the sun. Hopes and fears for Libra. <clears throat> Hopes and fears is the Six of Pentacles. This is about service to others, exchange of energy, what goes around comes around, karma. The Six of Pentacles, serving others, servitude to others, possibly. I always feel like this guy looks like he has an obligation because of the chains, but you know, it is the six of pentacles. I don't know. Take with that, whatever you got from it. We have six, six here. Nice. Okay. So now we get the final outcome or probable outcome. Wisdom. This is like the hermit card. Okay. From these experiences, Wisdom is what is gained, especially when you have acknowledged a pattern and stopped a cycle. You gain wisdom. You understand that things are not good nor bad, just stepping stones along your journey. True wisdom is shared with others, and true wisdom comes from inside. So you can gain knowledge, but wisdom is really, it's something that you have to do alone. So maybe this is a card about being alone too. Might be. We have Queen of Pentacle energy on the bottom. So I do see abundance coming in. I see stability. I see, you know, the life returning to status quo compared to those from the past. Let's get some tarot and see if it wants to further say anything about these cards, Libra. The Magician, wow, wow. You know what, maybe this is about, the, maybe this thought card is very similar to manifesting. Watch your thoughts, make sure they're positive. Um, it really does have a big effect on what you're able to manifest. And the Magician, you are magic, you are doing this. You're definitely making something here. Wow. All right. So you're magic. <laughs> so let's keep going. All right. Didn't we have this one somewhere else? Oh, I thought we had this one. Well, yeah, we do. It's the, um, no, that's the nine of earth. So it's just two nines though. So uh, about this manifestation, this burnout feeling has got you kind of on edge. Maybe you having trouble sleeping at night. Maybe you haven't take medicine or something like that. Something to calm your nerves. Get some sleep. Something, and it's about, it's worry about whether this manifestation is making it or not. All right. More information, please, please. Ace of Pentacles. Turn that right side up. Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Swords energy as present energy. Okay, so if you're acting not with integrity, if you're lying, cheating, or stealing, this is a card that kind of asks you to watch how you're acting. And if it doesn't fall in, in line with saying that you have integrity, love for yourself, really. I think it's what's hinging this Ace of Pentacles from being noticed. So I think it means a lot to hold uh, your head high with 
knowing that you are doing and choosing the best possible action here. All right, Knight of Cups, <clears throat> kind of in the reverse, right? So either a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, definitely strong earth here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but the Knight of Coins, uh, or Knight of Cups, sorry, <laughs> Knight of Cups is about a person who is um, kind of manipulative with their words. They may be saying them to lots of people, a real charmer, but it's for all the wrong reasons, not acting with integrity. I feel like not being real about a situation. All right, let's get some more. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, so we're waiting on word. We need word about our financial stability finances or uh, word about something really stable that's coming in as a new adventure for you. Maybe changing your thoughts patterns is going to be like a new adventure for you. The Wheel of Fortune, fortune turning in your favor in the near future. I think it's from paying attention to the issue of needing integrity. And it's almost like, hey, the Wheel of Fortune's like this. So things might be balanced now. If you act with integrity, this Wheel of Fortune is going to turn right side up for you. You won't have to worry about good luck coming your way. It will come your way. It will be faded at that point. And then sideways, we have the lover's card of Gemini. Could be about a partnership, maybe manifesting something, being honest in a partnership. All right, let's get, let's get you some um, cards. Let's get some spell casting cards and see what they have to say for Libra, please. Wrap up this reading for Libra. Wow, okay. Going through a big transformation, especially with this outcome here. We'll take it, manifestation. Definitely manifestation showing up. Oops. Passion. Fertility, Empress, family, acting with integrity for the family, creating something really beautiful, a passionate new start, new opportunity. Could be this, could be the, like the Empress uh, energy, and we see a blue jay. So good luck being very uh, protective over your family. And some kind of transformation that involves that hermit energy of really going inside and learning things. Learning things about lessons, about past experiences, about life in general, and about how you can transform yourself by getting to know the self a lot better. Maybe we're transforming a family dynamic here too. Whatever it is, it's a passionate new beginning for you on some level, Libra. Beautiful energy. Thank you all so much. Sending you love and light. Have a good few days. Bye.